Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and after a long wait, my new series is now here, guys. I've spent the last seven days working on this video for you all, and after I got scammed 175 mil, I did tell you all that I had a rebuild series coming, and it was going to be something big and something awesome. And here it is, guys. This is going to be episode number one of the series that I am making on my channel for the next uh, I would say months to even up to a year the title of the series is called from flax to max and what that basically means is I started from scratch and I'm going for max cash through every different way of money making on this game whether it's PVMing or skilling or anything in between that I will be recording it live streaming it every single day every single week and every single month until I reach a bank value of 2147 mil now the title I know is kinda weird because I'm not really picking flax in this but I wanted to be different I wanted it to stand out and I might change it down the line but I really doubt it I really like it and it was requested by a friend of mine me own woods so a big shout out to him and to answer any questions make sure to leave a comment below and I will get back to you all I can say is I basically started with about 10 mil, um, I sold every aspect of my bank, and I took all of the money that I had on my pure, which was like, I don't know, 4 mil. And I just started killing Zolra, and here it is, guys. So this is episode number one. I hope you all enjoy it as much as I enjoy doing everything. The best thing about this series that stands out in um, so many different ways is variety. I love doing different things every day, and uh, that's, what you guys, that's what you guys are definitely going to be seeing in this video. So with that being said, a big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for being patient and understanding. I gotta say guys, I've been playing more RuneScape than ever lately, and it is absolutely awesome. So thank you guys for the opportunity to do this, and thank you guys so much for your support, and I hope you enjoy the video. And until next time, Mr. No Sleep out. And that is the 3800th Zora kill and the 50th Zora kill of the rebuild today so far. Not bad at all. Um, having a lot of fun here. Wish I would get an elite clue or a rare, but hopefully that happens soon. The very first day of rebuilding, we have made approximately 8.7 mil. Not too bad at all. And um, hopefully we can make more tomorrow. But yeah, this was all just Zora today. And I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah. This is the first time that I'll be recharging my trident, I believe, throughout the series. So this is going to cost quite a bit of runes to do, but that's okay. So let's get the coins out as well, and let's charge this trident. And here we go. It is now back almost that full, so very nice. Not much is good, Ice JJ Fish. Yo, yo. Life is good, my man. A big shout out to Ice JJ Fish for uh, being here today. Alright, so now we are going to be selling the loot from about 100 Zora kills. This is about 90 or so, but uh, it should bring in enough money to upgrade our gear. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Looks like we're going to have a very nice amount to upgrade our gear with. So let's see how much it comes out to be. We're almost done. I'm going to sell these coconuts and these planks, which I think are worth a lot. There you go, another 1.2 mil. And it comes out to be 15 point let's see 15.5 mil for about 90 zora kills not bad now i think what i'm gonna do is upgrade my trident get a malediction ward and see what else i can get fang purchased now this is gonna help us a lot with our trident so good purchase 2.9 mil all right now i'm gonna buy a malediction ward because it's probably a lot better and i've heard it is so we're gonna buy that and then we're going to buy an Occult, because we definitely need that for Zora because it's one of the most useful items. And now we're going to buy an Amulet of Fury, because, well, I've needed that since I got clean, because, you know, it's, uh, it's better than a glory. So there you go. Uh, that is kill count 3,900. Not bad at all. All right, going to buy a Seer's Ring for Barrows, and then go imbue it while we switch to Ancients real quick. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, Spellbook Swap to Ancient. Very nice. That's simple. All right, let's go ahead and imbue this ring. There we go, and much better. So looking at the mage bonus now goes to plus 62. Not bad. I'll yes! Oh, my God. It took like a week. It took like 140 Zora kills, 100 Barrows chests, but finally we get an elite clue scroll. Feels good, man. Feels good. Talk to Yuri or Yuri, whatever, and there's the casket for this elite clue scroll. 
Hopefully we get something good. Two. One. I'm calling Third Age Cloak. Let's see it, boys. Here we go. Boys. We got ourselves an Elite Clue Scroll after 190 kills dry. We finally got an Elite Clue Scroll. That is so amazing. Alright. Opening in 3, 2, 1... This is my new worst clue scroll reward, 116k. Speaking of making absolute bank, almost 200 kills dry. This took me exactly, I think, uh, 180 kills to get for the Tanzanite Fang. That feels and looks very, very good. Comes out to be 3.1 million. I will take that. It feels good, man. It looks good. Double Death Zora for the Chaos Runes. Alright boys, so we just got our 200th Zora kill of the series, which means uh, I think we can say that it's safe to say that I made over 25 mil from Zora. One rare and one elite clue scroll and 200 Zora kills. That's not that bad. Usually my RNG is a lot better, but now I'm going to go to Barrows and camp for some elites and hope for some RNG and uh, hope for the best. So we'll see what happens, guys. Hello, Elite Clue Scroll. Chest number 777. Um, Elite coming in. Second Elite of the day. Not too bad. Got one from Zora and now Barrows. Hopefully we get a better reward. Last reward was 116k, so hopefully we can beat that. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. What the fuck? I will take it. Torag's Helm coming in, boys. Back-to-back -back items, boys! Back-to-back -back Barrow's items! Oh my god, I know I sound like a child right now, but that's never happened to me before. In ten years, I've never gotten a back-to-back -back item. And I just got I got back-to-back -back items. Oh my god. Torag's Helm and Aram's Hood coming in. Two of the worst items you can get, but boys, we did it! Well, boys, Guthin's Helm coming in. Um, Torag's Helmet, Aram's Hood, and Guthin's Helmet now. I will take it. Ah, uh, that looks so good, man. What a great feeling. What an absolute feeling, boys. This is going to help out a lot. Um, let's go ahead and price check this. <laughs> the dream is real, boys. 1.8 mil. Went down quite a bit, not going to lie, but I'll, uh, I'll definitely take it. Well, that is my 800th Barrow's Chest, and sadly nothing coming from it, but a nice milestone. 200 more until 1,000. That's incredible, man. Much love to Barrow's. Well, another helmet coming in. Yesterday we got an Aram's Hood, a uh, Torax Helmet, a Guthans Helmet, and now we get a Verox Helmet. Very, very nice. For the Elite, you know, someone asked me why I got all of the all of the kill count like I did. And let me just say it paid off. There it is. Elite Clue coming in. What the hell is this content right now? Right, let's just uh, let's tap it a little bit. Okay. Uh, tap it one more time. Was that one too many times? Shoot it! Oh, thank God! And that took forever, but we finally got that skill challenge completed. So, we are almost done with this uh, step now. One... Well, this is now my, uh, you know, honestly, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm, okay, let me just say something. I got an Elite last night that was 116k, and I said to myself, well, there's no possible way that I can get a reward worse than this, but hello, hello. Elite Clue Scroll coming in with the double scale drops. That is what I'm talking about. I really, I don't get Elites a lot from Zora, so I did not see that coming. There it is. Last reward, we got 76k. Um, this reward can't possibly be worse than that so I, I think I'm gonna get something very good but anyways let's see what we get boys three two one uh, a lot of pages you know if I wanted to get pages I would stick to med clues what's up with the elites man you got an elite clue scroll coming in boys two one 
Oh, fuck off with the master clue scroll. Why does this keep happening, man? This group effort for this master clue scroll, let me tell ya. Quest done! Okay, we did it, boys. Done. Very nice. That took forever, but uh, big shout out to everyone here, especially DYB. We got everyone here, guys. We actually did it. That was awesome. All right, use the uh, log. Put a log. Put the remains, and here we go. Much love, Lego. All right, we did it. We did it. Oh, I didn't have the clue. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. We're going to use all these together, and we do get... Oh, we got the casket, boys. All right, one, two, three. <gasps> yes! I got an item worth money! Lesser demon mask. Okay, it says it's 3.9 mil and I don't I don't want to not believe that So we're gonna go try to sell this right now. That is my very first unique of my life Look how cool this looks. This looks insanely cool I'm not gonna look at the chat because I don't want someone to say that it's like a hundred K when it's not So I'm just gonna go sell it. Uh, -uh I don't want to see it. This is gonna be a surprise We're gonna put it in for one mil we're going to hope that this is worth it, boys. One mil. Let's sell it. Come on. Be a lot, baby. Be a lot. Well, on the bright side, Mr. Brightside is playing. So, uh, you know, see what I did there. And I figured I would just throw in this clip for you guys. Uh, anyone who doesn't think that I'm a trusted guy, uh, I've only known this guy for about a month, and he randomly trust-traded me an Elijah Spirit Shield. Um, so that was really awesome. Just wanted to add this into the video. And, of course, I had to give it back, even though I want to get one of my own one day. Today was not that day, so, uh, yeah, but maybe in the future, guys. That's what this series is all about, getting that Elijah and much, much more. Feeling a guffin' spear, to be honest, so, uh, yeah, let's get it. Lucky number 13. Not quite. Guffin' spear coming in. Chest number 825. The rebuild is real. That looks so nice, man. That looks so nice. I gotta get. This is why I do barrows. Twenty chests today doesn't hurt anyone, you know. Can we get a back-to-back -back from the Guthin Spear chest? Let's see. <gasps> we can. Carol's crossbow coming in. That is the second time this week that I got a back-to-back -back item. Varrock plate skirt coming in. The luck is real today. That looks really nice. That is the third item in about I don't even know fourteen chests today. Is Torag's plate legs coming in? I gotta say, in 16 Barrows chests, I've received four items, and they have all been on the high end almost. This is incredible. There we go. Torag's legs. Let's go ahead and price check these. I think it's a solid 300k. That is uh, 20 Barrows chests, and we are now gonna price check all that we've gotten. So let's see this. All of these runes, not a bad amount at all. 696k from the normal loop, that's the Carol's crossbow, the legs, the skirt, and the uh, spear. 5.2 mil or so made in about 2 hours and 20 minutes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sell all of the loot that I've gotten from Zolra in the past couple days. What I'm going to do with this money basically is I'm going to be using it to fund uh, gear for bandos. I want to get on to different types of PBMing so that I can make more money. So I'm going to be back after I get done selling all of the Zolra loot, and then I'm going to end up selling all of the Barrows loot, a little bit of Wyvern loot as well, and then we'll see how much money we have. Uh, cash stack's currently at nothing, so that's why I'm going to do this. Alright, so all of the Zolra loot did end up selling for 17.3 mil. Now what I'm going to do is sell all of the Barrows loot, and the Wyvern loot, and the Chinchampas, and pretty much everything else to see where that cash stack uh, ends up being at. Right, so now we add in the cash that we got from everything combined with the Zolra loot, and it comes out to be 25.9 million. DHX, not bad. I will take it. Another weapon, man. That is the uh, second Carol's Crossbow, I believe, I've gotten this week. All right. 4,000 Zolra kill count, and that makes me wonder just how much Zolra kill count I will have by the time I get to max cash on this series. I mean... It could stay the same. It could be multiplied by two, maybe three. I don't know, guys. It's going to be quite a journey killing Zolra every now and then because the profit per hour is very good, and I don't see myself slowing down anytime soon. So, yeah. There we have it. Elite Clue Scroll coming in after about 35 chests. Very awesome. We're going to go do this now. And five hours later, we should 
complete it right now. There we go. Okay, perfect. And as a part of this Elite Clue Scroll, I did finally have to complete the Slug Menace. So yes, I am now level 126, three years later, and I can finally say I will no longer be wearing Initiate. Oh man, what is wrong with me? Oh, uh, you know, I don't know why I go through so much difficulty getting these elites, because I just keep on seeing the same thing. Took 21 chests today, but we got our first and maybe our final item, Guthin's Plate Body. Haven't had that in a very, very long time. 425k. Not bad at all. Long bone coming in from Bandos. Not the best, but, uh, you know, it's worth something to someone. Three, two, one... As I said, something epic, something worthless. Level 2 clue coming in out of nowhere. Let's see what we get from it. Um, 32k, 230 overall. Not too bad. It's another med clue coming in, 231, 10k. I think we're going to get something really awesome. Let's see. Well, not quite. But getting third age right now. Here we go, boys. 3, 2, 1... Not one axe, but two axes. One. Oh, man. And there is a big accomplishment. 2,000 Bandos kill count. That is incredible. It's been a long journey, and I'm looking forward to many, many thousands more. That's awesome. Bandos Tassets coming in. Kebab roll predicted them. He said in before Tassies. And there you go, boys. There you go. I feel great now. Bandos Tassets. The real luck is really good. God, Bandos Tassets again. Holy shit. Oh my god. Fish Babe has received the drop again. Bandos Tassets. Two Tassets and I think seven kills. Oh my goodness. The luck is real today, boys. God Sword Shard 3 from Bandos. 46.8 mil coming in from three hours of Bandos. 11.8 mil. And there you go. Everyone has been splitted. Thank you guys very much for coming. And better luck next time, only I doubt it, because that was the luckiest Bandos trip of my life. Gonna invest in a spear and go to Corp. We might get lucky today, and if not, there's always another day where we can return and hopefully get that luck. So let's buy a spear now, and that's pretty much all I need for Corp. And let's go. Holy shit coming in. I mean, holy elixir coming in. Uh, Onyx Bolt Z coming in. Very nice, very nice. That uh, definitely helps the uh, price check. More Onyx Bolts E coming in. Very nice. Tennessee got them again. So more money to the price check. That is what I like to see. Tennessee coming in with another Onyx Bolt drop. Very nice. That RNG is through the roof today. We are making money. All right. And the total loot that we get from about one hour and 30 minutes of corp comes out to be 6.8 mil. So let's just say 6.8 divided by 4 comes out to be 1.7 mil each. Um, well, we got something unique. Bob's blue shirt. Well, Bob, floor can take it, boss. And there you go. Varrock plate skirt coming in. Beautiful item to see so early on today. Let's go ahead and price check this. You know, a lot of people question why I do barrows, but a lot of the time I average, you know, upwards of 500k to 1 mil an hour. This is what makes that happen. Uh, even without diaries done, the money is insane. So, great item coming in. Let's see it. 1.1 bill. Not bad. Oh. Oh, all right. Well, I don't know what to say about this one. Aram Staff coming in. Um, I guess that's a good way to end, you know. Well, that is it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. This was a lot of fun, and if you have any suggestions on what you want to see in next week's video, make sure to leave a comment below. And to answer the number one question of how much I made this week, I started this series at about 5 to 10 mil bank, and I ended it at just about 78 mil. So I've made well over 60 mil this week, playing on average 9 hours a day, and it was a lot of fun. So until next time, guys, Mr. No Sleep, out.